Are you looking for a free way to kickstart your penetration testing career? Keep watching to find out. Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss any future video. I've got a lot more coming out just like this one. So as a penetration tester myself, this is a question I see pretty much almost daily. How do I start a hacking career or something similar? I see this scattered across Reddit, Facebook, all these different social media platforms, forums, Stack Overflow, you name it. All of these people are looking for the magic silver bullet to teach them penetration testing. So in this video, I'll be giving you my personal opinion on the best resources to get started as a penetration tester from practically nothing. But before we get started here, I need to start with a bit of a rant. You'll only ever be as good as a hacker as you are with computers. Hacking builds off the same tools, protocols, programming languages, everything that we use in modern computing and IT today. Specifically those in roles such as programmers, uh, network engineers, and system admins. These type of roles tend to have that real hands-on experience. And this is important because hacking isn't any sort of dark magic. Hacking is basically using all these same tools, techniques, protocols, and everything I just mentioned, but just in a different way. So if you know programming, then great, you're off to a great start. If you're a systems admin, then you're also off to a great start. If you're coming from nowhere, then this might be a bit more of an uphill battle. I would definitely recommend picking up a programming language, fiddling around with Linux and Windows virtual machines till you get a bit more experienced. My second point is if you wanna be a hacker, then you need to be willing to put in the effort and you need to practice a lot. I could watch a hundred videos on how to play the piano and read a thousand books, but by the time I sit down behind a keyboard, I will have no idea what to play or how to play it. And the same principle applies here. You need to practice a lot and get better at every aspect of computing because everything is relevant. There is no silver bullet here, there's no magic. So if all this sounds too hard and that it's too much effort, then go ahead and dislike this video and go find another YouTuber who will give you the false hope that you're looking for. Now with that out of the way, let's get started. Now the first place where I recommend you should start is by learning web application penetration testing. And the best place where I find to do this for free is Portswigger Academy. This was released somewhat recently and it's actually by the developers behind Burp Suite, which you may already know. So the Virtual Academy is great for learning lots of different web application vulnerabilities. The Academy goes into a lot of detail as to the concepts behind the vulnerabilities. It has videos that aid the explanation and there are a lot of virtual labs as well. The training materials here are quite decent for a free resource. And as you can see, it's got the explanation along with uh, supplementary imagery to try and help you out as well as videos and sample queries and sample code and everything like that. You've got the labs which you can access as well. I've only basically had a quick play with these, but they seem very, very good for a free resource. To access the Virtual Academy, you just need to sign up for a Portswigger account and then access the Academy directly. Next, we have Pentester Lab, and Pentester Lab generally is a paid platform, but they do have a number of free labs for you to check out. I would highly recommend anybody to sign up to Pentester Lab if you have the money to do so. It's about 300 US dollars, but we're only interested in the free stuff right now. So building off what we learned in the Portswigger Academy, we can then take this a little bit further and try some more, uh, slightly more advanced attacks and some specific attacks to do with CVEs, which are common vulnerabilities. In these labs, they provide you a pretty brief explanation uh, and some of which are accompanied with a video. And then you basically just solve it and you get the points for solving it and you can track your progress. So sign up to Pentester Lab for a free account to start checking out some of these labs. Hack.me is another resource that I've recommended in previous videos. And I like this as a platform to try and test what you've learned. It's great as exam prep if you're doing any sort of web application exam. It's good to try and test your skills. So with hack.me, you can basically sign up for your account, start a hack.me, 
and as you can see, they have various different labs from cross-site scripting to your SQL injections to your uh, more advanced cross-site scripting. The difficulty of these labs can vary from extremely basic to basically research level difficulty. So it's just important that you pick the right one for your skill level. Over the Wire is one of my favorite resources as this is very near and dear to my heart. This is what got me started in penetration testing all those years ago. And there's two here, which I highly recommend, which are just so much fun. There's Natus, which is based on web application vulnerabilities in the same line that we've been going over already. But then when you're ready to start your Linux and Unix sort of penetration testing, then you can jump on to Bandit. Bandit was where I started and I just had so much fun doing it. I already had a bit of a Linux background, so I cleared out the first 20 levels pretty quickly, but then they started to get quite challenging and that's where I really enjoyed it quite a lot. So you can access this just by going to overthewire.org slash wargames and you don't even need to sign up for an account. These are based in step-by-step, level-by-level labs where you need to attain the password from the previous lab to start the next one. Natus doesn't really provide many resources to get you started, but Bandit offers some suggested commands and resources where you can direct your research. Next we have Hack the Box, and this is when you're starting to transition away from web application pen testing and onto more machine network uh, penetration testing. By this stage, you'll need to download and install a virtual machine environment, and in addition, you'll need Kali Linux or a similar pen test distribution, as you'll need to have access to all the tools which are in these distros. This is probably the most difficult step along this journey, as you'll need to learn the penetration test workflow which is scanning, enumeration, exploitation, and post-exploitation activities. Your enumeration phase is probably the key, and this is what people tend to throw around quite a lot in the community. So if all this sounds a bit too technical, don't worry, just give it a try and you'll probably start working it out quite quickly. So to join Hack the Box, it's not as simple as signing up to a free account. You actually need to hack your way in, which is a bit of a challenge in itself. So if you're ready to take this step, then it's definitely a fun step to take. But once you're in, then this is basically what it looks like. You have a number of machines which you can attack, and these are vulnerable machines that you'd sort of encounter in a penetration test. You can sort these by operating system, difficulty, rating, etc. Your goal here is to get both user access and system level access. So here's one machine as an example, and we can see in this quadrant here how they have graded this machine. Now, personally, I'd recommend staying away from machines that are quite CTF-like. Uh, these tend to be more puzzle-based and less real-world based. So definitely aim towards more real-life CVE and enumeration when you're just starting out, because CTF and custom exploitation might be a bit too difficult. And last but not least, there is Vulnhub. Vulnhub is very similar to Hack the Box, but the only difference here is that you actually download these virtual machine images and attack them locally. These range in difficulty, and some of them can be quite simple to some of them being quite challenging. The key thing to keep in mind here is when you're doing these machines, just make sure that you have your virtualization environment set up correctly and that these machines are getting a proper IP address. I had to tinker around a little bit when I started Vulnhub just to get these machines to get on the right network. So you have six resources that you can start using right now to get into penetration testing. Now this isn't the most effective route, but it is free, so keep that in mind. And remember, you only get out of this what you put in. So don't give up, keep trying and enumerate. Let me know what is your favorite resource in the comments below. Even if I didn't cover it in this video, I'd really be interested to hear what it is. Be sure to leave this video a like if you found it helpful, and I'll catch you in the next one.